<laughs> What's up, Michael? YouTube here. Today, I have a tutorial video on how to create certain screeners for swing trading on Webull. This was a video someone asked me to make, so I showed decided, hey, I'm gonna make it for this person. Hopefully they get to see it. And I'll show you where my Webull account sits today. And I'll tell you a little bit why, what is going on in there, why it's going on and all that. And I'll show, explain to you some of the indicators I use. You guys know I, use, I like MACD and RSI. I'm gonna go over the Golden Cross and kind of how to set up your very own screener using some of these tools today. But before we do that, this video is brought to you by Again, no one because we are not a sponsored channel, but if you do want to support this channel more than watching these videos and liking them and commenting and subscribing and all that, then uh, go ahead and hit one of the links in the description. Today we're going to say use the Webull link. If you already haven't, you'll get two free stocks just for depositing your very first $100 into the account if you use my link in the description, guys. Enough of that sales pitch. Let's go on with the video. Now we're going to hop into the phone, but first smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel more than you guys know. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing, all the videos you've been watching. I know you guys have been loving the past few videos I put out and I thank you so much for that. Hopefully you guys are receiving the content as I am giving it to you. So hopping into the phone, checking out Webull. I like this a lot. You guys know I enjoy Webull. Um, first thing we're going to do is let's take a look at my por portfolio. Obviously it's not my portfolio. My watch list. Um, we're gonna go over some of the indicators I use. Let's look at APXT. Looking at it, you got the day, five day, daily over the course of however long you wanna look at it. Could be a month, could be three months, weekly, monthly, da da da. I usually use the daily and then the five day. But looking at the MACD here, you can see it's starting to trend down. Obviously, we see those crosses, boom, 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 boom. Oh, and here you see the blue line. Blue line is my, uh, 30 day moving average. The yellow line on here is my 90 day moving average and the red line is my 180 day moving average. So obviously the uh, 30 day is a lot higher than the other two, but that's okay, right? And I'll, I might go over exactly why I set it up like this. I might not, that's not what we're here to discuss. We're here to discuss these certain indicators. So looking at the RSI, RSI is very important. It's a relative strength index indicator. Basically, it'll tell you if it's overbought or oversold. Here it's showing in the middle for the past five days. I'm um, sorry, daily. But looking at the past five days here, it is definitely, definitely overbought, it is showing. And we see the uptrend on the MACD here. Okay, guys, the MACD is important because it shows you trends or switching of trends. And uh, it'll also show you that golden cross or that cross of death, depending on you know whichever way you're looking at it. And then the RSI will show you overbought, oversold. Anything over 70 is overbought. Anything below 30 on the RSI is oversold. So it's a good, good thing to look at. A good way to, a good way to start looking into the stock to see if you want to day trade it or swing trade it. I use this for swing trading. I do not use this for day trading. But looking at my portfolio here, so we have Sundial. Well. 57%, IDEX 39%, and this is the second or third time I jumped into IDEX, I took profits each time. And then um, APXT, which is a SPAC, right? Uh, five, we're down 5%, but whatever. So last time you guys seen this portfolio, it was close to $1,000. Um, what I do is I build this portfolio up, and then I take my money out and I use it for you know, my other portfolios. This is basically just swing trading for me to make some kind of income in here. Um, but I think that was my last time doing it. The last time I did it, which was withdrawing the money. So I'm going to keep all the money in here as of now. That's my, my plan anyway, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this here. You're going to look at your home screen or whatever your portfolio, you press the middle button. You're going to go to more. What you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down. You're going to hit screeners. Okay. Hit create new screener. And it's going to give you all of this here. Fundamental indicator, quote, uh, quotes indicator, the market, technical indicator, all that and others. Now, what I like to do is I like to hit market cap, 1 billion to all the way, right? All the way there. So 1 billion to 200, uh, to whatever that is, large amount. And you see view results. So that pretty much brings up 2,000 stocks. I also like to use volume. We'll go relatively, we'll go about 500,000 to max, okay? Done. Now, as you can see, that cut it down to 900. 
2,900. Now the next thing would be the gold, we can use the Golden Cross, the RSI 6 oversold, the RSI 24 oversold. Now, the RSI 6 oversold is for the past six days. Okay, the RSI 24 oversold is for the past 24 days. So it'll show you zero stocks on the 24. Click on RSI 35, uh, RSI 6, 35 stocks oversold in the past six days. Okay, get out of that. Now the MACD Golden Cross, we have 115. Now, what the MACD, basically the Golden Cross is, it's when your short-term moving average crosses over the long-term moving average and that potentially signals it signifies a major rally beginning to happen okay and we'll check this out in a second there's also the reverse of it when the short term moving average goes underneath the long term and that shows let's call a death cross that's like okay a major downward trend all right so as you can see macd golden cross here uh we have 115 results we have six uh, RSI six, we have 35 results. And then you can look at these other ones. We're not gonna go over these other ones because I don't necessarily do it. But what I do like to do is we say MACD, Golden Cross. If I wanna break it down even further, we'll go to the hottest out of these and we'll show 17. Hey, we guys, you guys know 17 is my lucky number. So we may check that out. Um, but also RSI, so we have three here. So looking at these three, we have New Gold, Pfizer, and Quam Call. From here, if I like these, if I want to use the RSI 6, and if I want to use the, you know, MACD Golden Cross, I check these out. I see which ones is good for a potential, potential swing trade, right? And uh, I'll look into it further. This just kind of shows me, the screeners kind of show the setup that I want, you know, for an uptrend. That way I can make money on these swing trades. Um, that's pretty much the basic, basic tutorial here, guys. Looking at these other ones i don't necessarily mess with these other ones that's why we're not going to go over it we can look at hottest stocks here um you can even take the volume portion off and look at the rsi six oversold take the hottest off and then hit this here and it'll show you the the most oversold ones here okay so let's say a apd air products let's see we would go to this and we see why try to figure out why it dipped down Look at the fundamentals a little bit, looking at some of the technical indicators and see if it would potentially be a good idea for us to buy in at this dip, hold it for a week, two, three weeks to get that, you know, the gains we want from it. But that is pretty much how I use these indicators and how I set my screeners up. The reason I don't have a screener up made right now with these is because I like to go through it every day you know what i mean i'm not gonna i like to, to constantly adjust the screeners that's why i don't have one specifically made for all of these this is just showing you guys again a very basic way of creating a screener with all of these i do not use any of the financial indicators the pe none of that i guess technically you could if you want to again it's narrowing down your search of the criteria you want for the stocks you want to swing trade guys but let's just go ahead and get out of here um again and again guys this is just a basic basic video here of me showing you these screeners to set up for you know swing trading you can even set some up for day trading but we bull i enjoy for swing trading day trading i'll use it for a little bit but yeah guys um let me know in the comments below if you guys use we bull if this was helpful at all if you made sense out of what I was trying to show you with these screeners the screeners that I like to use personally and really once you get your specific criteria down that makes you money it's better to have have it broken down like that than to have it as broad as I have mine I like mine broad because I, I like to try different stuff I do different things okay but that's pretty much it guys so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm it really helps this channel more than you guys know also go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you have it we're trying to hit 2000 by the end of february we're very very close i think we have about 100 subs left so hopefully we get there guys again like share this video leave a comment below let us know exactly what you think about you know we bought as a platform and what i showed you with these screeners if you understand rsi macd and the golden cross and how these screeners work to help you make money with swing with a, <laughs> with swing trading guys and again if you want to use Webull and you haven't 
set up an account yet, go ahead and use the link in the description. Matter of fact, it'll be the top pinned comment. Use that link and just for setting up your account and depositing $100, you'll get two free stocks with Webull. It could be valued up to $1,600 a piece, so that'd be great, right? It'd be a nice way to start your Webull account. But enough of that, guys. Look, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click on these videos. I'm going to get out of here. Peace, love, and prosperity, guys.